Senate President Mike Miller welcomes State Senator Jill Carter. Congratulations. Thank you. It is emotional. Um, I never thought I would be here in the Senate, and I'm happy to be here. It's been an interesting journey. Carter now represents the 41st District and diverse Baltimore neighborhoods, including Yale Heights, Edmondson Village, Dickeyville, Ashburton, Park Heights, Mount Washington, and Roland Park. Appointed by Governor Larry Hogan, she intends to unite the communities she serves while fighting for issues like bail, police, and criminal justice reform. I view this as an early start to the work that I'm going to do over the next four years. Carter will have to defend her seat in the June primary. She replaces former Senator Nathaniel Oaks, who resigned in April. He faces sentencing in July after pleading guilty in a federal corruption case. But his name will still appear on the ballot, as ordered by the Maryland Court of Appeals. I think it is going to be confusing and misleading and, and really um, a disservice to the voters to have him there. But of course, the decision is what it is. And so we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll make the best of it. To take the Senate position, Carter had to resign as director of Baltimore's Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement Office. I found out um, after the fact, sort of, that I would need to step down because uh, I can't, state law precludes me from holding the position as director while being serving as senator. But Carter again says that she will still remain active with that city's civil rights office. The deputy director, Charles Boyd Jun Bird Jr., recently resigned, and the former attorney claimed that he didn't want his 2017 disbarment to be a distraction. The city actually has offered Carter that deputy position, and she says she will accept. Reporting live from Annapolis, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.